They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. <laughs> How you doing, baby brother? Goddamn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You're fucking old. Easy. It's gonna happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Oh. Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Starving. False alarm! They're friendlies. We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joe. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you cut his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. You know, if you want, we can take them riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. Oh, no. You know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. Just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right. Look, take it easy. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? <sighs> I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. It's including Joel. Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. Huh. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone, most of it. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. I'm good. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. Well, I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah, okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. 
It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We got crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? We're doing it. What do you do for protection? The adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We even got an electrified fence when planted. Hey, you still got to deal with infected, though, right? Who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. Or maybe you don't have to be. <laughs> you sound like Marlene. Hey, buddy. That's Buckley. Not much of a guard dog. That's a good boy. Maybe good to have around. These two geniuses are going to bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure. Make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. They just need to finish putting the shield back on. No rush. Good spot. To the left. Watch it. Okay, that's good. Slowly. All right, that's good. Tommy here. You good to go? Got here. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Gives us all a second chance. <laughs> 